Understanding the phrase, to be enchanted. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the charming phrase, to be enchanted. This phrase is not just about magic, but also about feelings and experiences. Let's dive into what it means and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. To be enchanted means to be under a spell or to be completely fascinated or delighted by something or someone. It's often used to describe a feeling of great pleasure or attraction. Think of it as being so captivated by something that it feels magical, just like in fairy tales. 1. Describing places and experiences. I was enchanted by the beauty of the old castle. Here, it means being deeply attracted or impressed by the place. 2. Expressing feelings. She was enchanted by his kind words. This shows a strong, positive reaction to someone's behavior or speech. 3. In storytelling, the forest was said to be enchanted. Used in narratives to imply a magical or mysterious quality. In conversation, I'm enchanted by this city's vibrant culture. In writing, he wrote about the enchanted evenings he spent by the seaside. In descriptions, the audience was enchanted by the performance. Remember, using this phrase adds a layer of emotion and wonder to your language. Not always literal magic. To be enchanted doesn't always mean literal magic is involved. It's often metaphorical, positive context. It's primarily used in positive contexts, so it might sound odd in a negative or mundane situation. I hope this video has enchanted you with its explanation. Remember, language is a magical tool that can convey deep emotions and experiences. Feel free to use, to be enchanted, to add some magic to your conversations. Until next time, keep practicing and stay enchanted with learning English.